the entrance and Antiphon. O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We want you to know, brothers and sisters, of the grace of God that has been given to the churches of Macedonia. For in a severe test of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their profound poverty overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. For according to their means, I can testify, and beyond their means, spontaneously, they begged us insistently for the favor of taking part in the service to the Holy Ones. And this, not as we expected, but they gave themselves first to the Lord and to us through the will of God, so that we urge Titus that, as he may have already begun, so that we urged him, he should also complete for you this gracious act also. Now as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love we have for you, you may excel in this gracious act also. I say this not by way of command, but to test the genuineness of your love by your concern for others. For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that for your sake he became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the, in the Lord, his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul who keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. 
But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes the sun shine on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning in 2 Corinthians, Paul is holding up Macedonia to the Corinthians kind of as an example, right? He's talking about how their understanding of love and how correct it is. Corinthians seem to be at this time having a struggle where they kind of see love as faith, kind of just believing in God. But he's pointing out that Love has this beautiful uh, action of it. Where it, when love is lived out, when love is truly enacted, it's both the kind of the in the heart faith part of it, but at the same time it's an action. And as he's talking about this, as he's describing these two sides of the one coin, he interrupts himself on this. He says, I do this not to command you, but to show you, right? To increase your knowledge and love and to help you grow. And I think he does this because he knows exactly what we do as humans. It's one of the things that even the holiest of people can fall, a trap that they can fall into. When they hear about something, oh, this person's doing so great. This person is being so holy. Look at how they're living their life. Jealousy can creep in. Anger even sometimes. Or maybe kind of spite. Paul wants to get that out of the way quickly. He wants to say, no. When you see someone like Macedonia, Corinthians, and you see Macedonia, the purpose of that isn't to make you feel either maybe bad about yourself, feel like you're failing. It's not to make you angry. The purpose is to help you grow. To see that this is possible. Living the life of grace and there is possible. There is another step for all of us. We can always grow closer to Christ. And in some ways, it should lead us to rejoicing. When we see someone who's holier than us, when we see someone who's living out the Christian life better, it should lead us to joy for them, for their closeness with our Lord, and for ourselves, knowing that we have more to go. Where we are isn't the end of the journey. There's still more for us to learn, more for us to follow. And he really, so Paul interrupts, hoping that this is what's going on in the Corinthians' heart when he talks about Macedonia. And I pray that for all of us, that when we see someone who's holier than us, that it leads us to a point of joy, a point of celebration for them and for the work we still have to do in ourselves. confident in God's love for us, let us bring our needs before him. For the church and her mission to show the way to the Father, may God inspire new avenues of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in authority in our communities, may the Lord fill them with the courage they need to best serve those they lead. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For families and loved ones who experience ones experience discord. For families and loved ones experiencing discord, may God bring healing to these relationships. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God inspire us to greater faithfulness to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may they live in the glory forever with God and all the saints. At this Mass, we remember Carol Schneider. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bishop Delegate Senior, for Bishop Emeritus Gaynor, and for all the prayers we hold in the silence of our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, listen to the needs we bring before you and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through your Son, Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The body of Christ. body of Christ.
Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about in unity in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together now the St. Michael's Prayer. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.